I guess we had better get everybody down here to pop into the Buccaneer and see what exactly is going on. We got to have a conversation and get to the bottom of this whole situation with Ma. All right. So we'll head inside. And who are we talking to? We're talking to you, apparently. Elaine Ross. Uh -huh. Hey, what the hell do you want? I'm sure you remember my associate, Judge Miller. Oh, this just puts the cap on the perfect fucking day. What the hell are you doing in Chicago, Miller? Perverting justice in Little Rock get boring. Don't talk to her. Talk to me. I'm the boss here. Oh, yeah, because it seems like she's got you wrapped all around her little finger. That's what she does. It's thought I left you in the past where you belonged. You didn't know she was in town? Then what are you doing here? What am I doing here? Trying to live my damn life at the friend that ruined my career and my reputation. Made me look corrupt. I moved here to be with my cousin. I wait tables at a diner. Rogers, you might know it. I don't eat out too much. So you aren't here to take another crack at Judge Miller? No. Though it looks like she's trying to take another crack at me. Have you been sending those thugs? What thugs? The ones who have been harassing Rogers. You know, I love the place, despite the shitty pay. I only miss the law sometimes, mostly at night. Buy me a drink? No. Why are those thugs bothering you? The owner owes him some money, but they won't let him pay it back. Just the interest, which keeps getting higher and higher. We've gone to every authority we can, but no one will listen. Has Judge the Pillar Miller all over it, if you ask me? Yeah, she's got nothing to do with this, if you say so. It's her modus operandi. Oh, uh, again with the Latin. Who's leading the thugs? Fellow they call the scissor. Don't ask why. That's all I needed to know. So long. What? That's it? Ma got nothing to say to me herself? Coward. Leave it, Miller. Let's go. Okay, okay. So we gotta talk to Ma. See what's going on here. And everyone's just gonna have the same voice at this point, I've realized. Every, just until my throat's able to do different voices, everyone's gonna sound about the same. Well, that wasn't damn near what I expected at all. Poor girl lost her spark. I thought she had more fire than that. Nobody in my crew pulls any kind of job without my say-so. You understand? What do you mean? You're gonna pull whoever this the scissor is off her diner, and you're never gonna do work behind my back again. Hold on. I ain't have a thing to do with this. As the Lord as my witness, why the hell would I bring you down here to kill her if I did? Fair point, Judge. Then I guess we're done with all this. It ain't sitting right with me, what I done to that girl. I can't explain it. I misjudged her strength. I think I have to help her. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna add... I'm gonna add jury and execution into my collection of job titles. I'd appreciate if you helped me send these bastards to hell. Probably will be good for our business to wipe out these upstart loan sharks anyway. I've heard of them. They hang around in South Loop. Blood is its own reward. Alright. Let's go deal with this gang and see what's going on. I've no idea where the accent that I've been doing is going at this point. It's kind of fading into something of its its own, I guess. Uh, which, on one hand, I apologize. On the other, I don't really think it matters. Let's just, uh... Oh, that's looking like a bit of a gang right there. Let's, let's head up that way and see what we can do. And I'm thinking once we deal with this, I might actually go to another neighborhood. I might head up this way and see if we can't start taking over some of that turf. Because... I don't think we're at a point where we want to start a gang war. I just don't think we'd be able to manage a gang war right now. It'd be nice. It'd be nice if we could. I just have my doubts. And I don't really want to go in and try and take over all this territory. So we're probably not going to be going into a gang war. Although I do want to see what's going on right here. So we're going to have a conversation with you. Oh shit, I know you! You're Maxim Zelnick of the Mur of Murder Incorporated. You're big time. Hey, I really look up to you. You're a big inspiration for me and the guys. Oh really? That's good. 
Because you and me need to work out a problem. Oh yeah, whatever you say, boss. Are you guys, are you the guys who have been extorting Rogers? The diner? Sure. Done a damn good job, too. Made a lot of scratch off of it. What do you care about it? Ooh, okay. So... We can pay them and get them to join us. Let's do that. Hey, jeez, it'd be an honor, boss. We'll head to your safe house immediately. See that you do. And boys, Rogers is off limits to everyone. There we go. Not bad. I mean, I don't know if we actually got much out of that, but that's that's kind of cool. I've got to be honest. I kind of like... Wait, we can demolish buildings? Oh, no, you just... <laughs> I was gonna say we just tear down the building. That'd be that'd be a whole thing, wouldn't it? But uh oh hello. We got a message from Cywing Mark. Things grew too big too quick. The cops got too much interest and there wasn't enough money to cover it all. The scheme is bust, and your money with it. I should have known better than to trust you. I I'm actually a little bit annoyed that, that went that way. Although Ma has a skill, so let's see what we got. Piercing round. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Piercing round allows you to fire a shot that ignores line of sight and lets you damage enemies through walls. Ooh. Rifle or sniper rifle? What are you using right now? Rifle. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's that absolutely do that. Ma has generally been our long range fighter this entire time. So keeping Ma on, uh, you know, g giving Ma some abilities that'll let her kind of, you know, shoot at considerable distances, I think will be absolutely fantastic. I'm also thinking that if we do go to another territory, we might be able to get more gangsters and get a bit of a stronger force, you know, so that we can come back here and so that we can take over some of these other territories. Some of these other precincts is the word that I need to remember. Now, let's have a conversation with you and let you know that everything's done. You, me, what have you done? I was expecting a lot more gratitude. You hired those idiots? So what? They're leaving you alone, right? No, they aren't. They're going after other businesses in the neighborhood. My friends. And you swine in here acting like you've helped me out of kindness. When all you wanted to do was get rid of some competition. Yeah, that's how the world goes around. We both get something we wanted. Got what I wanted. They're still out there hurting people, just not me. I didn't want you to do anything illegal. I wanted to believe for a second that justice could exist in some small form in this world. But I guess you've crushed whatever ember of hope I had left. Don't be so dramatic. You're testing my pacifism, you know that? And you idiots didn't even solve my problem. The scissor is still out there. And he has more men than you hired. So what? He'll know better than the loan shark in my town anymore. He doesn't care. He's got some personal judge against Rogers. He's going to burn the place down and kill anybody that works there that he can find. I'm going to be on the next train out of here tonight. Well, if you don't drink yourself to death first, just hold on. We can fix this. You can't fix this. Don't you see you've only made it worse? You're as corrupted and self-motivated as he is, and everything you do makes the whole thing worse. It's over. The scissor and people like him, like you, win. Judge, maybe you should- No! No! Stop talking, and don't even bother threatening me again into going along with you. She's taking everything from me again. Just let me drink in peace. Okay. Well, you hate Can to I see help it. You with something? Hey, well, that didn't go so well, but at least we got a fire roaring again, even if it's for one last blaze. Are we going to leave this behind us now? We could, but don't this scissor fella just piss you off rightly? We got to deal with him, boss. I won't sleep tonight if we don't. I can't stand unsettled business. I could forget about it the second we stop having this conversation. However, you're right. He's pissed me off. Roth mentioned before that the authorities were turning a blind eye to this guy. So somebody in the halls of power is profiting off this guy. I can figure out who and get that immunity revoked. As a plus, we'd have some blackmail over the cops once we figure out who's behind it. That's the legal way. And the not-so-legal way. I got a friend who specializes in making problems uh, disappear. 
No need for one of our street battles. And I reckon if we deal with the guy, people in South Loop will be a lot more willing to take loans from us. Tempting. Or we could just make it impossible for him to operate in South Loop. Take over every loan shark in business there. That'd be harder, but it'd get the job done. Now, Monopoly does sound pretty profitable. What's it gonna be, boss? I don't really care about... I don't care about leverage over the police. I don't know if making them disappear is right. I like the idea of loan sharks. I like... I like the idea of taking over the loan sharking business in the entire neighborhood. The problem with that is that I believe that is probably going to require me to do a lot. That's going to require me to do a lot of things because I would imagine there might be, yeah. So there's a loan shark right there and a loan shark right there. There's two of them. There's two other ones that we know of. There might be some along here as well. Now, I'm pretty sure we can't just go and buy these. Which, it'd be nice if we could. We might very well have to declare war on Reagan's cults to uh, actually do anything here. Which, bit of a pickle, bit of a problem. And we also failed politics because we didn't upgrade this uh, casino in time. Which, whatever, that's, that's just the way of it. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's just go travel. Let's let's hop in a taxi and let's head over here and just see what's going on. I think I think that's probably for the best. Just to get an idea of what's going on in these precincts. Because I think we're going to have to take something over here. I think it's going to be that simple. We need to take some territory over here. It will be linked to our territory. Ooh, a message from Ruben. Uh, Mr. Zelnick, Miss Hoffman is down here in the Golden Chalice in South Loop. She wants to speak to you. All right, we'll be there shortly, and that's fine. Uh, let's do a quick run around here and just see what buildings these thugs have. Because, uh... Oh, hello. We've met the Saltis gang. Hey, what the hell are you doing in my neighborhood? I don't want any trouble. I'm sure you and I will get along just fine, as long as we stay out of each other's way. All right, so we've met a gang. They've got, uh, so what do these guys have? That's Thugs own this place. Yep. Thugs own that place. That's the depot as well. Do they own anywhere up here? Because that's a pretty big chunk of, of, uh, of space right there. But if we can take that depot at the very least, I mean, it gives us a direct connection over to South Loop. So we might want to do it. Yeah, so they own that racket as well. Uh, they own this one, they own this one, and they own this one. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's... I, I don't want to go straight for the depot right now, because if we do, there's going to be so much backup that comes in from it. So let's go attack this place. Let's, let's actually try and do this efficiently, and let's try and take out all of the places before we try and take out the district or the, the precinct. That's, that's kind of what I'm thinking here. So, what are we looking at? We got, what, six of them? And we kind of need to be in good spots here. So, let's get, uh, let's get Max right in there. And let's start doing... Let's actually bring in the reinforcements. That seems like a really good idea. Just a few of the boys. Get them in here and see what kind of damage we can do. As for Hugh, let's get Hugh to this spot. And let's see what kind of damage we can do. 65%. Let's take that shot. We got him. That's a good start. And then we get uh, we get Ma. Now, I'm not really too sure what to do with Ma. I feel like it's going to be a case of moving out here. So we'll move out. We'll let these guys move around a little bit, and that's okay. They're going to take some shots, I'm sure. But, I mean, Max is at the very least in cover. We got you providing suppressing fire, which is suppressed, Max, annoyingly. And we got this guy. Now, this guy is going to need to move up as well. So let's go for cover right there. And we'll get the other bodyguards to move up shortly as well. We'll just try and get absolutely everybody in a position where we can actually start doing some damage. If we can get everyone onto the floor, we should be able to take these guys out pretty quickly. 
to be totally honest. It really shouldn't be too difficult. This place is, it's, it's pretty open, which is good. Although that bodyguard just took a hell of a hit. Good Lord. Oh no. Ugh, okay. He's having a really bad time, huh? Let's go ahead and get this guy. I want to say there. I think that's going to be about the best spot for us. So let's see what we can do here. We can hit that guy for 55%. We have 55 on you, 40 on you, and 30 on you. Okay. We could do Overwatch, but I don't think it's going to be too useful. So let's take the 55 and see if we can hit the guy, which we can. We've got Ma out here as well. 65% on you. We got 65 there. 58. Let's try the 58. See if we can stop. There we go. So that, I imagine, will knock. Yep. Suppressing fire has been knocked back. We've got Max himself. We can take this guy out. Which honestly is probably not a bad idea, but well, yeah, we'll go for the we'll go for the shot. So we'll take him down. This bodyguard here is probably going to die. I think we can be pretty confident that he is absolutely going to. Yeah, that's 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 not good. That's not ideal. But it's fine. We'll we'll not we'll not stress about it. Oh God, no. Okay, we might stress a little bit about this. They are hitting us a fair bit. This guy's moving over. There's no way he's going to get an attack off. This guy might, though. Oh, no, he's reloading. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's have this guy killed. Which is lovely. So he's gone. And then we have a string of attacks set to go here. So 89% on this guy. Or 74 on you, or 69 on you, and 54 on you. Let's take the 89%. Just to knock that guy back and out into the open. Uh, Hugh has a 55, so let's try and finish him off. And we missed. I can't, I can't believe you actually missed that. Uh, Ma has a 58 on this guy. What else have we got? We got a 55 on that one. 30 on you, and 20. Uh, let's go for the 58, I guess. Hopefully, there we go. We didn't miss. So they're down to three guys who I imagine, yep, they're going to be moving around a little bit. Okay, sir, that's 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 a little rude. I'm not going to lie. This guy's moving around and going for an attack on the bodyguard. And this guy on the left is moving into cover and going to be shooting at Max as well. That's fine. We're taking this place, like I said, a little quicker than some of the ones we've taken in the past. So that guy is done. And then we got Max and everybody else able to take these guys out. So let's see. 81 on you. Let's take that chance. We got him. And now it's going to be on Hugh and on Ma to take out this guy. So let's go for the shot, which we got. And then Ma, 22%. I am going to switch to your pistol, I think. Just to make sure. And there we go. So that gives us one dead bodyguard. Max has been hit a little bit. We'll take the loot. And we can't really do anything with this. It is just available. But that's all right. That's 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 a start. This place will be a little bit less reinforced if we were to go and attack it right now, which I don't really want to do. I want to take out everything so this place doesn't have reinforcements coming in. So... I mean, I, oh man, these guys, Saltis gang own a lot of turf here by the looks of it. What's that? Four territories, four precincts. They're not going to be pleased about me taking this place, but I feel like I need to do it. I feel like I, I want a bit more money coming in. I want a bit more turf and I'm not quite ready to start a gang war. And also by the looks of it, I could take this place down here as well and have a bunch of connected turf. So I think that's kind of what we're going to be doing. So we'll come down here. We'll take a look. We'll see what's up. We'll see what we can do. We'll get everybody healed up and uh, and healthy and all that. Although passive HP is not quite as as quick as I'd like it to be. Hmm. Maybe we maybe we do go back. I don't know. We have places to upgrade. I mean, this place here. Ooh, we actually got someone to talk to in there. Okay. 
So someone to talk to in there. We actually have, I mean, we have this hired gun. We could get Harry Adams. It is 15,000 up front, though. We got a few places around here still upgrading as well. So money's not bad. I don't think there's anyone else to hire in this entire area, though. And we really are going to have to take out Reagan's cults at some point. It's going to suck having to do that. It's going to suck having to go to war, but I, I'm not prepared to do it until we're really, really set. And, you know, we've got we've got a good amount of strength and all that stuff as well. So we're kind of just going to be holding off. Now, let's take a look. 149 and 165. You know what? Sure. Let's go for the attack. Let's get this done. So we'll go in. I don't think we're at a point where we can... Uh, yeah, I don't think we want to auto-resolve this. I think we can just do this nice and quick. Get everybody into a good spot. Get into cover. Start opening fire. Uh, so we'll move up a little bit with Max. And let's see what we can do. 84%. Let's take it. We got the guy. We can move Hugh into this spot. Which gives him a pretty good view of everything as well. 65%, 60. Let's try and get a kill. Right off the bat, let's try and put this guy down. There we go. Alright. This guy's going for a melee attack, which is fair enough. It sounds brutal. And what do we got? So 90% on this guy. What if we switched weapon and went for this one? And a, maybe a double shot to try and put him down. So that's one. Oh, wait, wait. No, the first one. Damn. That's, that is misleading. That first one hits him, but it says miss, and then the second one gets him. It's a, it's a little annoying. It'd be not, Oh, my... Oh, I really... It is terrifying every time Max gets shot. Especially by a powerful weapon. My, the last thing I want is him to die and for us to fail immediately. It's a terrifying idea. Now... So Hugh is suppressed. I could put this guy down, but I want to hit this one to try and stop the suppressing fire. That way Hugh can hopefully start doing some things. There we go. In fact, Hugh can kill this guy. So there we go. That's two of them down. That should leave, I think, four of them. It absolutely does. Ma, what can we get you to do? So you got a 45% chance of hitting that guy. If we swap out... You got an 80% of kill on that one in one shot. Let's go. Ooh. Okay, you didn't kill him, but he's hurt, which is good. That's what you want to see. This guy's coming forward for a reload. We got this guy just going for an attack and missing. And then the other two really shouldn't take too long at all. This one's going to go for an attack, I would assume. Yeesh. Well, he got me. And this one's coming up probably for an attack as well. Yeah. How, excuse me? Okay. I am not I'm not 100% sure how that works, but okay. Let's go for Let's let's just go for this guy. Pretty good hit, pretty easy shot. Hugh can go and try and finish that guy off. Hopefully successfully. Nope. That's embarrassing. But all right. And then Ma uh, we don't want you to bide your time. That's, that is not what I was looking for at all. Uh, we'll actually have you... I guess you could put that guy down. You can put that guy down. You can kind of put any of them down, really. We'll go for that guy at the back, though, since he's a bit further away. And now these guys get to go for their shots. Hopefully... Ugh. Hitting for 24 is not what I want you doing. Hitting for... Oh, my God. I swear, if Max dies, if I, if I, if I, if I fail this, I will be thoroughly embarrassed. Uh, so 87%, let's put him down. That's good. And then Hugh, what can we get you to do for me? 60% on this guy, 100% melee on him. I mean, let's, I guess let's go for the 60 here, right? Please don't miss. Okay, we got the knockback. That's good. That might actually put him in a spot where Ma can get him. I think. No. Okay. Well, we should be able to put that one down, which we absolutely can. So now this guy is going to have a decision to make. I would assume he's going to run forward, take cover. Uh, he's going to run there, take cover, and then shoot. But the good news is we should be able to finish him off nice and quick. So there we go. So this place has been cleared out as well. I'm really hoping that Hugh isn't going to be out of it. 
please. Okay. So that's good. That's two of the places the racket's now cleared out. So we get two more to go. They are easier than that first one, which is lovely, but we're definitely hurting. And that's not ideal. We, we kind of need to get healed up a little bit before we go and hit these places. I do want to hit the two rackets there, but just not yet. It's very, very tempting. Very tempting to get this guy. He's good. That's the thing. He is good. He's, he's actually quite good. So, very tempting. Very, very tempting. Uh, do we... Oh, Max has a level up. What do we got? If your target has been marked, uh, let's see. If your target has been marked by marked target, you deal an additional 20% damage. If attacked, automatically return fire. And your overwatch can now be triggered twice. Oh. I want to say return fire. The overwatch thing would be amazing, but I think returning fire is probably a little bit better. I feel like that's kind of what we want to be doing. Now... I also want to make sure I'm upgrading stuff as much as I can because we actually have a really good amount of money sitting around right now. So I, I don't actually think we need anything other than accountancy there right now. I do feel like upgrading the alcohol quality in some of these places might be good though. So going for a little bit more quality, a little bit more production, maybe a little bit more deflection on this one as well. And then for the saloon, we could go for a little bit more word of mouth, perhaps. Maybe a little bit more security. I don't know if we need the security yet. We'll go for a little bit more word of mouth. Uh, this loner will go for better accountancy just to try and get more money off of that guy. And we fa What did we fail? Lost critical building. What? Uh, that's... Interesting. I'm not really sure... Not really sure what we lost. That's... Actually kind of odd, I guess. Okay, well... We'll not worry too much about it. I am still very tempted to just... Fork out all the money in the world for this guy. I've got to be honest. I'm I'm really I'm really quite tempted. Oh wait, no, I do not have the notoriety to get that guy. Never mind. Uh, let's have a look at the black book though, because we have got some guys. So this guy, if we were to get him, he doesn't like Hugh, so that would be kind of a problem. Uh, Hugh does happen to like Claude hey. though, so we could get you. You're quite you know cheap as well comparatively. You've got a nice rifle, so maybe. Uh, what about what about Ma? So Ma, I mean, you 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 love Theodore, big game hunter, but we can't get him right now. Who else have we got? I mean, I guess it doesn't really. We don't have anybody else, do we? We could get you, Rocco the Beef Fairy Malucci, with your rifle. Your weekly take is seven percent. You're available. I mean, your marksmanship's okay. Your traits are, okay, gang leader is more leadership. Child labor will increase. Oh, so when you're equipped to a safe house, the casino income goes up. Okay. I mean, we could. We could get that guy. We could get, uh, I do like your beard. I like that you've got a sniper as well. I mean, there's a few people we could get. We did have Maria. In my first run of this game. Hey, what's going on? We could get Gibby. Gibby is terrifying, quite frankly. He also has grenades. So I'm very tempted to get Gibby. Or uh -huh. Grover. I think we had Grover in my first run of this game as well. Hey. So there's there's some interesting ones. There's definitely some interesting, interesting characters in here. We've also got Vincenzo, interesting looking fella, has a has a submachine gun, has a Thompson specifically. I don't know. I mean, we we've got we've got some choices, is what I'm getting at. I kind of like the idea of getting a, a con artist, specifically someone with a sniper. I feel like that'd be really good for us. 
Alternatively, I mean, we could get... We could get you, which I think we'll do. So we'll hire... We'll hire... What is it? Guido? So we'll get you. We'll get a talent for you. And we can go for a throwing knife, because that seems kind of, you know, kind of badass. And then I'm also going to go for Vincenzo. Just because I kind of want someone with a Thompson. Well, maybe Vincenzo. I don't think we'll go for uh, Nora. I don't think we'll go for you. We already have Ma. We're not going to go for you. You do have a submachine gun, but I, I really want someone with the Thompson. So you know what? <laughs> We're getting Gibby. We're getting Gibby. So let's see what we got here. Using an, ex an explosive device as your first action will no longer end your turn. Oh my god. Okay. I mean, sure. That's That sounds That's fantastic. Right. So now we have five people. We should now be able to, uh, <laughs> to take this, right? I mean, don't get me wrong. Max is still having a pretty rough time. But uh, <laughs> let's head down here. See what kind of damage we can do. Uh, this is only a one-star place. So we'll go hit this and just see what happens. This is going to be ridiculous. So we'll confirm... We could automatically do this and probably win, but we're not going to automatically do anything. Max is in cover, which is great. So, Max, if you wouldn't mind, open fire on that guy. Please, please don't miss. There we go. And then Gibby. Good old Gibby. Let's have you move forward. What a lad. Look at him. And uh, let's have you burst fire with your Thompson. There we go. He's terrifying. Good old terrifying Gibby. Now, let's move up a little bit there and uh, swap your weapon out, I guess. 65%. Please hit him. There we go. This feels a bit more efficient. I feel like we're doing good stuff now. So, Ma, if you wouldn't mind just finishing that guy off. There we go. And uh, Hugh, next one's going to be all you, buddy. So, let's have you try and uh, get them from there. 70% chance. I like the sound of it. There it is. So now I imagine they're going to move around a bit, yeah? So you've moved. You're going for the attack on Hugh. You missed. I imagine this guy might stay put. No, he's moving as well. Okay, who you shouldn't? You shouldn't Hugh. You got him. That's fine. Kind of expected that. Hopefully he will be all right. We'll move Max up a little bit because I feel a little bit more confident now. And we'll go for uh, a quick shot on you. And then for Gibby, I mean, I guess Gibby can kind of go over here. And we'll see if we can put this guy down with a little bit of a burst fire. We can at least do some damage to him, which is better than none. And uh, let's see, 30% chance. Man. Let's try and do the double fire. We missed both. That's not great. What about Ma? 62%. Come on. There we go. And now, Hugh, it is all on you. Please finish this guy off. I know you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. And just like that, that place is cleared out as well. So we got a meat cleaver. And now, if we zoom out, we just have this place to deal with. And then we can go get the depot. Which is lovely. That's exactly what we need. So let's head over here. We'll get the crew to move around. You get a nice auto save as well, which is lovely. It's exactly what we want. Where the hell are we? This is near South Side, right? That's that's what this is called. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think we're gonna try and take this turf and probably the one south of it as well. So uh, we'll see how that ends up going. Let's hit this place though, nice and quick. Get it taken out. Again, could probably automatically do this and win, but I don't want to chance it because I don't know what kind of damage would get done. If we uh, sort of simulate the combat. I feel like that could be a really bad thing to do. Now let's swap that weapon out. We actually don't have a shot at all here. So. I mean, I guess we move Max to somewhere else. I guess we move him here. And uh, see what we can do. So we can hit this guy for 89%. Which is lovely. We got uh, Gibby. Who is able to hit him for 75. Who else can we go for? 70 on that guy? Oh, please. Let's get the kill. 
or close to. That's fair enough. What about you? 75, 45, 40. Give me that 40. Oh, can you imagine? Can you imagine if we got him? All right, Ma. Let's go for this guy up here. Try and encourage him to run away a little bit. Just encourage him to run off and do his... What are you... Sir, please. That sounded like a tooth came out. That that sounded like a tooth that, uh, that just flew out of there. I don't know how I feel about that. I do not know how to feel about that. Let's put you down, though. Just to be done with you. And then these other guys can kind of move around a little bit. Of course, missing, which is what we want. We got Beardy up there taking a shot. Hitting Gibby, which I'd rather you didn't. But I think we can finish this in this round. So 100% chance to put you down. And then we got Gibby. I would assume... Ooh. All right, proficiency level two. I would assume we can put this guy down, right? There it is. And now you over here. 40% chance. What if we swap your weapon? What are the chances then? 60. All right, we'll stick with the 40. Let's give it a shot. Ooh, that's what we wanted. All right. Now it's Ma's turn. Let's get you over here. I don't know if you can hit him from there, though. Oh, you absolutely can. And you missed. Okay. Okay. That's that's not really... Not really what we were looking for. Not gonna lie, Ma. A little bit disappointed there, but you know what? To each their own. 45%. Let's go. And we missed. Okay. Again, a little bit embarrassing. Not really sure how to feel about that. Hugh getting shot right there. Hugh, I'm amazed, hasn't had to go back and get seen to. It's actually kind of impressive that he's still standing and doing okay. But this guy is done. And that gives us this place as well, which I think means that we're now set to try and take this turf. Well, that is once everybody's healed up, which I imagine will probably take a second. All right, they're all healed up enough. It is just going to be Max that isn't 100%, but he's close enough. And honestly, we can call in some backup if we urgently need it. Now, looking at this, it is the five of us versus the eight of them. I am pretty confident that we can deal with this. We have got this guy that we can shoot at right away, but I'm immediately going to bolster the ranks just a little bit. So we'll bring a little bit of backup in just to be sure. Now, 30% chance of hitting this guy. Let's, let's move up here with you and just get into a bit of a spot where we can hit this guy. Hopefully, yep, there we go. We got him. And then for Gibby... I'm kind of thinking, I mean, we could shoot at that guy. 40% chance of putting him down, which would be great. I'm not 100% sure we're going to do it, though. But I, you know what? Let's give it a shot. We can only, I mean, we, we hit him once, right? Better than nothing. Now, this guy's coming around. There's actually, uh, yeah, they're all grouped up a little bit. Man, if we had explosives right now, that'd be amazing. Uh, let's go for here. And let's see if we can put this guy down with a sniper. Actually, apparently we can. What if I swap the weapon out? 75%? Sure. We got him. All right. Ma, you're going to be up next. Where are we putting you? I want to say... I want to say there. I want to say they're probably going to come around eventually. Yeah, there they go. So they're starting to move around this way. This guy is administering first aid, which is a little bit frustrating. And moving up a little bit. This guy's coming that way as well. They're actually a little bit squishy up that way. So that's not a, a huge deal. Uh, what about you? 70% chance of finishing you off right there. You know, I want to take that chance. Just so we can put one of them down and be done with it. And watch the rest of them slowly filter around towards my people. Oh, are you going for an attack? No, you're not. Okay, what about you? 40% chance to just put him down. That's tempting. That's, that is tempting. Let's go for it. I mean, oh my god, we actually very nearly did that. You're getting ruined. That was actually kind of impressive, I'm not gonna lie. And now we're back to max. So, let's move up to cover. 
and let's see what kind of damage we can do here. So 87%, 87%. Let's go for this one, just to do a bit of damage to the other guy. And then Hugh will have you go for... Eh, I kind of want you to go for like one of these guys in here, to be completely honest. Although we could... Well, we should probably go for one of these guys just to try and get the kill, right? And we missed. That's... That's fantastic. Okay. Uh, what is this? A shrapnel bomb? Now, throwing it up there would be really good. So, can we can we make that throw? No. But if we could, that would be absolutely amazing. So, let's try and move... I don't know about this. Let's move Gibby to here. And can I throw the bomb still? No, but I can throw a grenade. So let's do that. Let's let's throw a grenade sort of this way. Because that looks like it's going to kill three of them. Which, oh my god, it did. That's... Wow. <laughs> ah. So grenades, huh? Grenades. Very useful, it turns out. 30% chance of hitting that guy. What's your other weapon? You've got a sniper. 45. Let's go for the 45. There we go. That's what you want to see. And then Ma, what about you? What are we doing with Ma? Let's get you here. And let's see what kind of damage we can do. 75%. 67. Let's go with a 67. Let's put the heavy down. There it is. So that's five of eight of them down. So we got three of them left. And then this uh, this precinct is going to be mine. Which is... Sounds fantastic to me. That's exactly what we want. 35% of putting you right down. Let's go for it. Oh! <laughs> you love to see it. You love to see it. All right. Let's move this bodyguard up a little bit. I don't know if moving him that way is a good idea, but it's what we're doing. Oh, this guy's coming down as well. He's going for an attack, too. Who are you shooting? Probably Hugh, right? Nope. Gibby. All right. I mean, I would imagine Gibby probably has more grenades, which sounds great. Uh, what if we swap this for a, a pistol? 42%. Uh, let's go for that. Let's try the double fire. We got one. We missed the other. We got Hugh with a 40% chance of putting this guy down. Let's go and, you know, try. And we got him. And that's, that's one left, right? It absolutely is. Okay. So now we just gotta get this other guy. So let's have Gibby go there. And 40% chance. Come on, Gibby. That's actually not bad. And then you can move up and hopefully finish him off. Although you are using a sniper up close. So we'll swap you out for this. And not in line of sight. What about melee? Or Overwatch, actually, might not be a bad idea. And then Ma, what if we move you here? Uh -huh. Can we get that last shot? 60%. And we got him. There it is. That's a precinct. That is... Oh, Hugh has to be out for 24 days. That's fine. We got a shotgun, a crowbar, some remedies. Lovely. All right. We're going to occupy the precinct. That's that's absolutely amazing. We got places we can buy. We should probably upgrade the uh upgrade the safe house too. So let's go alcohol quality and that and security just cuz I feel like we're going to need it. And in terms of all of this, I mean we can absolutely go ahead and buy some places. So, I mean what are we looking at here? We got a we got a medium, we got a small Let's go for, let's get the small places up and going first. So let's go for a little speakeasy. Let's go for a little loan shark. And I'm very tempted to go for another one. But I think, oh, only one per precinct. That's fine. Uh, we could go for a brewery. We could go for a casino. Let's go for another speakeasy. Get the barrels in. 
And then on these bigger places, maybe that's what we do for a casino. Maybe like a nice big casino right there. And we could afford another one. We could get a medium speakeasy. Which, I mean, they have been making us really good money. So let's let's do that as well. Well, actually, you know what? Uh, yeah, sure. Why not? There we go. So we've taken over the turf. Ooh. Another speakeasy. Well, ain't that sweet? You and I both want the same things. I get it. But I can't let you just walk around like you own the place. So here's what we're gonna do. Because I'm a reasonable person. Give me $4,000 and I'll give you some of my booze. Then we don't have to be enemies. I'm not interested in deals right now. Ooh. Not bad. Give me that. We've also taken a precinct. We've started a bit of a minor problem. Small beginnings. We've started a few things. We've started a lot of things. Uh, hmm. We should probably get an underboss, huh? 50 barrels weekly. We should do that as well. There's, I mean, there's, yeah, there's, there's things going on. We also need to control a neighborhood and hold 20 rackets. Good Lord. A lot of stuff to do. But at least we took this turf. That's, that's the important thing. That's what we needed to do. And we've managed to take it. So our income should be pretty solid shortly. I would imagine. This is good. We want to take this place down here as well, obviously. But this is, this is a pretty solid little start right here. So we'll hold on to this. We'll get everybody kind of situated. We'll get some upgrades going. We'll hopefully start making some good money out of this, uh, this, uh, this precinct. And this one down here, I mean, if we grab everybody, let's just run down into this yard. And I want to see, well, I, I, I frankly want to see just how much the, uh, the thugs own down here. Because it looks like what? A one star or a one skull, a one skull, a two skull. And we have these two places right here. I want to know how tough they are. That's, that's kind of where I'm at. So looking at it. Oh, we've just met the O'Malley Butchers. And I'm pretty sure they are a small-time mob. So, that's their depot. So, they're not too tough down here. And then the O'Malley Butchers. We actually do need to take out a small-time uh, family. So, we might want to take out the O'Malley's. Which would give us this turf as well. So, we have some pretty good potential here. We actually have some really, really good potential to take out some, uh, some space which I would be very, very keen to do. Because that would give us, what, five different precincts across two neighborhoods? It absolutely would. That would give us five of them. I'm tempted. I'm very, very tempted. I also wonder, why is this place make, uh, losing me money right now? So the expenses are up there. And then the income is not that great. Do we maybe want to, you know, upgrade this place? Because we're not, I guess we're not. So production could be increased a little bit. Alcohol quality could be increased a little bit. Let's go for that. Let's go for production. And back. Let's maybe go for a little bit more accountancy here. Let's maybe go for perhaps some ambiance in uh, whatever this place is called. Let's maybe go for a little bit there as well. Go for a little bit more word of mouth as well. And the casino, I mean, more games is more upkeep, but more customers as well. A little bit more upkeep. A bit more consumption. I, I mean, I, I guess we go for that. I think we'll be okay. Should bring in a little bit more money. Should make places a little bit more fancy. That's not too bad. I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it. This, this feels like a good bit of expansion. This feels like it was a really good idea. Whether or not it was a really good idea, I don't really know. But it feels like it was. And I guess, I guess for now, that's what counts. I just really want to take out the Reagan cults. Not gonna lie. Really want to get them out of there. But I'm slightly tempted to focus on this district now, or this neighborhood now, because it feels like we have a chance to actually do some stuff, right? I feel slightly trapped over here. I feel a bit freer in the near south side. 